Hello people and welcome again to your favourite channel, Wondershare Recoverit, a simplified tool for data recovery to save your precious files and prevent you from losing them. So today we are going to discuss a common problem related to BIOS or the basic input output system. Sometimes your Windows operating system can malfunction and you may need to know how to enter the BIOS to get rid of the issue. Surprisingly, many users have no idea about how to open BIOS. So here we are with a step-by-step -step tutorial to enter BIOS on your desktop. But before we move on, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to keep getting our regular updates. So now let's start with the functions of BIOS. Do you have any idea what it is and what it does? In the simplest of terms, we can say that the BIOS is a ROM chip present on all motherboards that enables the users to access their computer system. It helps in loading the basic hardware and running power on shelf tests to boost your computer properly. If your computer passes these tests, it means that everything is working fine. However, if you hear a beep sound, this points out to a hardware issue. Following are some of the primary functions of BIOS. Post. As we have already discussed, this performs a test to ensure and check that the operating system loads without any errors. Bootstrap Loader. This is considered the most important factor. The operating system can't be located without this. BIOS Drivers. These are low-level drivers that provide your computer a basic control of its operations. And finally, CMOS Setup. CMOS is dedicated to storing information, including the BIOS settings. It also keeps hardware configuration, date and time information as well. And now you know what the BIOS can do, it's time to dive into the solution and learn how to enter BIOS without any hassle. Windows 10 and 11 provides plenty of options to enable configuration within the operating system. Moreover, there are certain settings that we can change in the BIOS because it handles the boot sequence of the drives to security options as well. It is also responsible for controlling and activating the function keys. For instance, users with old versions of Windows can press F1 or F2 for the boot process to complete. However, when it comes to configuring BIOS in Windows 10 or 11, you have to go down a different route. First of all, go to settings on your desktop by clicking on the start menu. In Windows 10 and 11, you have to click on updates and security, and then choose recovery from the left hand menu. Now on the advanced startup, just click on restart to boot into BIOS. Windows 11 users, however, should go to the Windows update and then click on Advanced Options. A new window will appear where you have to click on Recovery and then Restart Now. After the restart, you'll be prompted to pick an option. Hit the Troubleshoot option and then Advanced Options. Now choose UEFI Firmware Settings and then finally click on Restart. If the UEFI firmware settings can't help you to enter BIOS on Windows 10, there is another way to do so. Simply removing the BIOS battery can do the job. To do this, first of all, shut down your computer. Once it has shut down, unplug the device and then open the computer case. Look for the CMOS battery on the motherboard and then remove it. Now take a break for around five minutes and then reinsert the battery back into its original place. Doing all these can reset your BIOS in the shortest possible time. So turn on your computer to see whether you can now boost into BIOS or not. Hopefully we've helped you out today by walking you through all the steps to fix your can't enter BIOS issues. But please let us know if these fixes have helped or if you have any other queries about this tutorial. As always though, thanks for staying tuned and watching our helpful guide. Don't forget to leave a like and also please comment below because we are always waiting to hear from you.